What's up guys, Rick Denham here, Holy Moly Outdoors. Thank you so much for joining us. It's Tech Tip Tuesday again, and we're finally back after being sick for the last week. So I'm so thankful myself to be feeling better and being able to get back on track here for you guys. Today's episode, we are sticking with Blackmouth again. Uh, winter really came in the last few days uh, with these crazy cold temperatures. We got a lot of snow. It's a great time to either prep yourself for your next out on the water or those that are adventurous and want to get out, there really are some options in the Blackmouth realm. Um, some of our areas have dropped the limits from two to one, but still allow the opportunity to get out there and catch some fish. So in this episode of Tech Tip Tuesday, we are going to dive into fishing hoochies or flies for blackmouth. So stay tuned. This one's going to be fun. All right, guys, so we're talking about flies and squids or hoochies, uh, which are a rubber squid imitation that is similar to what the blackmouth are eating. They are, in fact, picking off squid out there as they are traveling around finding food. So what we're trying to do is match the hatch to what they are eating or something that will trigger a response. And the best way to do that, because a Hoochie themselves, and I'll go through different stuff of what one would be classified as, but a hoochie itself is a plain lure. It doesn't have any action. So we have to fish it with a device that will impart action to that squid or the fly. And by doing so, we use a flasher. So a flasher can be anything from one of these inline style, where the line goes through both ends and rides in line with your main line when a fish hits slides up the line less resistance these are made by Dick Knight I'll put everything in the description below these are the Dick Knight extractor flashers this happens to be one of the Pro Troll strike lights if I can find the button there you've seen in one of my other videos how you can make one of these your own you can now have a blinking flasher pretty cool. Very effective. Add a custom tape on the back. Moon jelly on the front. Very, very effective and one of my favorite um, blackmouth flashers to be honest. So very successful with that. That's a sliding version. This one is a fixed version and fixed meaning it's just tied on both ends. Swivel and a snap swivel. And as it goes through the water, it rotates this way, but you also have the ability with the swivels for this to rotate around. So it creates a lot of movement, a lot of commotion. This action flashes in the water. It looks like another Chinook trying to feed, brings in more fish. It's a great way to do so. This one is a custom Gibbs flasher, an Oki flasher, really effective color combination. Super cool. We're going to look at these squids themselves and I'll show you right here what I'm talking about. So the most generic, probably rec most recognizable thing that you guys will notice is when I hold up this guy. So this is just a rubber skirted squid here. And what's neat about it, it glows in the dark. It's got some great color contrast. You just add a couple hooks and you're good to go, put it behind a flasher, and you're fishing. So with Chinook, during the winter, this is a great way to fish something that will be effective because of the presentation itself. You can tip bait to this rig and make it even more effective by having a little extra scent. So this guy imitates more of that squid or bait fish herring profile, really something that these salmon will like. However, there's also a more narrow, skinny version, and I can show in comparison. There's your squid profile, here's your narrow profile. This narrow profile imitates a candlefish, and honestly, majority of our blackmouth 
feed near the bottom and when that happens a lot of what they're feeding on are candlefish or sand lance hatches so having a more narrow profile really helps to imitate that so we have all sorts of stuff guys and let me tell you this is by no means the only tackle that you can use but I have two different types of hoochies or flies that I like to use if I'm going with the hoochie style the um, either Yamashita actually I have a pack right here there's Gold Star or there's Yamashita these are great Silver Horde makes them. A lot of different options, but like I said, can't go wrong with either one of these in green, blue, but some kind of glow in the dark all plays a huge part. But that's not to say that's the only thing. I did mention flies. So when we're talking flies, it's a different ball game. You can go the route of the same kind of like herring style. This one happens to be an Olympic tackle. UV with glow, really great herring imitation. Works really well. You can go something more of that squid profile. Here's another Olympic tackle. You can even go the route of a candlefish. So these flies are designed and made to imitate all of those. So you can do the same thing with that rubber, but now this has flash built into it. So these flies can have an advantage over the rubber. Now, however, there are other ones out there that are a kind of combination as well. This one happens to be an ace high fly. It has the rubber skirt of the hoochie but the flash of a tinsel insert all into one. Here's another one. So there are options, there are even needlefish styles of these. So once you figure out exactly based upon all that what you want to use, you then want to configure your hooks to match that because each bait's going to be a little different. What I do is I tie up a double hook rig with facing opposing directions so one's top facing one's bottom what this does is if I get a short strike boom I got this fish however if it comes from the side I can get him on the top hook and if he decides to turn and that comes off now I got him on the bottom it really gives you a lot more chance to hook on fish and then I will take and add a couple glow beads depending on the style and type of squid rig that I'm going with. So this happens to be three beads, so I'm probably gonna put that either in one of these flies or I will use it with one of these candlefish squids. Gives the spacing of the hook so you want it to be sitting right near the tail end of the bait. This, for example, is one of my very effective patterns for this summer and winter as well. You can see um, the end where these hooks are. One's the top hook's right at the base end, and then now you have a trailer hook right at the end there that can easily get grabbed. So Olympic tackle fly there, super effective for me this season. But if I want dropping beads all over the place. If I want that spacing less, I just take a bead off. I can also use it where I don't need any spacing because there are even smaller profiles, like let's say that herring is super, super tiny, or they're going off little tiny squids. Here is a B2 squid, full glow, a very effective, super small profile. You can fit that on with one bead, you can even just throw it right to the top of the hook there. Totally up to you. But to me, spacing is important because then I set that up once my hooks are rigged to the distance between my flasher. Now, like I said, these are just straight material. 
there is nothing about them that'll make them move, spin on their own. So you have the flasher itself to help with that. So the flasher is gonna be tied directly to my main line. Then from the base end of the flasher, I am tying anywhere between 36. In my mind, there's a lot of different ways to this, but I like 28 to 36 inches dependent on how much movement I want out of this bait. So that's generally what I run. And again, if that was directly off the one to snap, I'm tying straight to it there off the end. However, if I'm running one of these sliding flashers by Dick Knight, it has just a slightly different way that you go about using it. And I will show you it right now. Get this undone. So there's a lot of different varieties, obviously manufacturers, flashers, squids, hoochies, whatever you are comfortable with fishing is how you will be successful. Fish what you're confident in and you'll have a lot of fun. So quickly rigging this up, this is one of the Dick Knight extractor sliding flashers. It comes with this lead. So you go from the base end up through, just like so. And then this goes, tie on to your main line through the hole. And just like that. So now I have that lead line has a bumper bead in the back. Now this acts like that swivel on the other. Because this still spins around just like you would normally. But now if a fish was to grab it, it slides off. So then I have this one a little shorter. This one's probably that 28 inch mark. I have a double Olympic tackle candlefish. So I have a green glow on the bottom and then a cotton candy on top. A couple glow beads to add a little extra. Hooks are right there at the end. Deadly effective, not just on blackmouth, but coho as well. So I hope you guys enjoyed a lot of what you saw here. I talked a little bit longer than I typically do, but let me be honest guys, you can go through the tackle shop and find every single color combination, size, everything. Here's just a sample of some of that I have. So squids are a very popular, a very effective way to fish for salmon in the salt water. They do work well on a lot of other species, but black mouth sometimes they're often overlooked because we get so caught up in fishing other stuff. But hoochies can be very, very effective. So definitely want to have those in your arsenal and either run one rod with a squid, one rod with a spoon, vice versa, change it up. Gives you different presentations out there and really can be successful for you on the water. So thanks so much for tuning in. Hope you guys enjoyed this and we'll catch you out on the water here real soon. The Sportsman Show is starting this week for Portland. Have a blast guys. There are so many good things down there. You will not want to miss out if you can make a trip to that one. I definitely hope to get there myself and uh, hopefully we get a little less snow this week to be able to get out and enjoy some fishing. So take care guys. Thanks so much and fish on!